What motivates you daily to do better and to be a better version of yourself, regardless of your age? Young or old, you got to work out. Now, me and VJ are going to discuss that today, okay? We'll talk about what motivates us, but real quick here, we do a lot of dancing too, and we'll do a little 15, 20 seconds, little dance around video before we get into our discussion today as well. And also, before we get to the video, if you look on your screen right there, you see the little boxes, you got to be on the YouTube app in order to see this. You see the little black box right there has sports apparel in it. These are brands that works through YouTube affiliate. They got everything in there from treadmill, running shoes, workout gear, uh, shorts, anything, barbells, dumbbells, you know, it's worth it if you're taking a look at if you're talking about workout gear and getting in shape and needing some of this stuff. I get a lot of my stuff through them. So, and it's also in my description down below as well. So, you know, get a chance, take a look at it. Okay, let's get into the video. inspirational coffee time absolutely coffee conversation absolutely <laughs> come on in and join us <laughs> <laughs> so people see us dancing all the time on our videos yes we love to dance you know I do I've been a dancer all my life absolutely professionally not the pole <laughs> Thank God. <laughs> <laughs> but I've always loved to dance. And it's good for your physical health, too. Absolutely. Absolutely. A lot of cardio in there. Uh, you can get all your toning, get your stamina up. It is excellent when you're talking about getting in shape and getting that body defined the way you want it. Dancing will do it. And by the way, I am master fitness. <laughs> and he can learn a few moves from me. Yeah. Know? Yeah. Yeah, he's got his like two step. <laughs> but I can tell show him how to drop it like it's hot. <laughs> <laughs> so when you watch me, anybody can do it, right? When you watch me, you know, because I can't dance. So I'm just, you know, doing my little thing, you know. But I'm moving. You're not stopping, you're constantly moving yeah. and moving and moving and you want to go for at least about 30 minutes. Yeah, I know the book says 20 minutes, but go for 30 minutes non-stop. Put that music on in your house, oh my God, in your house right there, get your cardio in. You know, put that music on, just, just go, just go, just keep going. <laughs> you know, don't stop. Don't stop, get it, get it. <laughs> and we both love it, you know, and I, I think that's why um, that really keeps us going, it keeps us motivated. We wake up, and when we wake up in the morning, you know, he just asked me what motivates me, and what motivates me is, of course, thank you, Lord, for waking me up, and then that motivation to, like, really take care of myself and my body. I have to, you know, the older I get, you know, things like bending over <laughs> to pick up something is really not easy if you're not working out. So, you know, what motivates me is that I know I have to stay physically fit. I know I have to eat right, you know, and then absolutely this yeah. man over here, yeah. he is can be a little bit of a taskmaster. What you doing today, boo? Are you working out? <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. And it's a good thing when you got somebody that is concerned about you, and you should be able to push each other if you have a partner, whatever that case may be, husband, wife, whatever. It's good to have that, Amen. you know, because we all, like, like we say in the Army, we all need a boot in the butt every now and then <laughs> to get you going in life. That's so it's a good thing. Yeah. And we always try to do at least 10,000 steps a day. We have this competition going on. He's looking at his watch, and I'm looking at mine and dancing around the house and trying to get it in. 
So I think that motivates me too, knowing that I have that goal to reach at the end of the day. And you know, it's not a lot, but it can be if you are complacent and not active. But something as simple as walking around your table, you can get easily get 10,000 steps in. And remember, what 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 VJ just said to confines of your home. And, you know, it's good to get out every now and then, but if you can't get out, we don't use that as an excuse. We just open up them doors in them bedrooms, the hallway, up the stairs if you got them, and we get going. <laughs> we set that watch and we just go after it nonstop. Okay? And that's the key. And that's what we talked about sometimes when I talk yeah. to you sometime about, you know, ten thousand steps. 10,000 steps. Some people set their goal for 10,000 steps a day. I always say, let's get 10,000 steps nonstop. What does that do when I say that? That gets you going at a certain pace and you don't let up and you constantly are working your heart and you're building your stamina up because you're not off and on. Right. So there's, there's, there's different ways to get to 10,000 steps. One, 10,000 steps, it's going to help me if I just get them, you know, intermittently, you know, I get up and get, you know, steps here and there, but then I am burning calories. Right. If I go 10,000 steps and say I'm going 10,000 steps nonstop, then I'm working my cardio, I'm working calories, and I'm doing the whole nine yards. But the most important thing, I'm getting that heart rate up there and I am not letting it down. So that is so important. Understand the difference between the two. Yeah. And for me, it's just getting the 10,000 steps. Okay. <laughs> which is so, for, for, and which we're a very lot of people. competitive. You know, he'll look at his watch and I'll look at my, how many you got? <laughs> and then I be go, belong to this group that's called uh, Women and it's called 10,000 Steps. And we're very competitive. So we're always trying to get our 10,000 steps in. And of course, there's always this one girl, which I haven't been able to beat because she does 20,000 steps or more. You know, and it really shows, you know, she, we can tell that she's been doing a lot of work. And it's just so important, you know, when you put fitness, health and wellness front and center in your life, this ain't a matter of whether or not you're, you know, young, old, millennium, whatever you want to call it. Myself, I call it young and old. <laughs> so, so, you know, so it doesn't matter. You still have to get it in. I know some millenniums that's uh, that's overweight uh, and sick and going through medical issues. Just like whether or not you are up in age or whether or not you're 35. I've seen people at 35 years old yeah. with diabetes, and unfortunately, some of them is not here today. What's my point? My point is, it doesn't matter how old you are. You got to get it in. But even more so, as you're going into your senior years. You have to get it in yeah. in order to continue to be able to function as you go through life. As VJ stated earlier about the fact that even bending down, that can be a chore mm -hmm. if you don't work out. Right. You know, sometimes you feel yourself, you bend down, you're like, oh, I'm about to tilt over here because you don't have no muscles and your flexibility is not good. Right. Because, you know, I saw this post on Facebook where this man said, um, if you work out at least an hour a day, that means you live three hours longer. So I'm up like calculating. Yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Three hours longer. If you add it all up, you can live a healthy life for a very long time. Absolutely, so. you can, you mm -hmm. can. And, and, and you can make fitness, uh, you can make it interesting. Uh, you don't necessarily just have to go into the gym, whether or not you got it set up in your house or mm -hmm. to a gym and just say, I'm just going to lift weights and that's all I got to do. Because that can, that can kind of, you know, you know, you like get tired of that, like, oh my God, I got to go to the gym. Like, oh, yeah. You know, so, so you can mix it up every now and then. Yeah. Yeah. I haven't gone to the gym in years. <laughs> So but, but you I, got your gym in your I own house. My gym, yes, yeah, but I do keep my gym membership. Yeah, just in case. Yeah. you know when you go out of town, you don't have your home gym. You have whatever is out there. But anyway, coffee. We're going to continue with our coffee conversations. Um, mm. Cheers, baby. Cheers, baby.
Fitness and Nutrition, The Game Changer.